Hi traders, welcome back to another YouTube video. So it's another trade recap. It's, it's been a while since I do any trade recap because I've been really busy recently. So took a short on Pound Yen yesterday, made about 27 or 30 thousand dollars in total, and it was a 9.2 hour trade. So let's straight move into the chart and have a look at this setup. So go to the daily how do i actually spot this trade it was pretty straightforward i was looking at the daily level resistance that was was our october 2022 high so i was looking for some sort of a long-term reversal there that's why i decided to have my entry zone somewhere around i like to go from the high time frames to the lower time frame so on a daily if price is reacting around the zone that i want to see then i'll look for some lower time frame confirmation so drop down to the one hour chart you can actually see here so let's talk a little bit about price behavior so when price forms that strong sell-off on 1st of may we had a strong sell-off but it followed by a strong rejection of the 20 ema as well so the blue line is the 20 ema the red line is the 50 ema so it followed by the strong candlestick rejection that's a nice doji or hammer then we push all the way up if you start looking at the 15 minute chart you can actually see if I put on the replay mode how we actually have a false sort of a false bull flag here lots of people when they start seeing a break above 17187 which is right here especially for the lower time frame trader who trades the 1 minute 5 minute or 15 minute they're likely to see this as a break and retest then they're looking for that continuation long but what I was thinking was that resistance was well under the key level structure so my thought process at that point was very high chance market is going to create some false break attracting more buy shares into the market attracting more buy side liquidity into the market before it eventually takes the high and reverse all the way down because people who are looking at the lower time frames like a one minute to five minute they are likely to ignore the high and that is the key level daily resistance is multi-month resistance level you have to be very very aware of this kind of false trap as in they're attracting you to actually go long after a minor break makes you forget that hey actually we have another major resistance above so after it breaks to the high you should see price broke to be high lots of people they took the break and retest and that was exactly i was looking for some one minute chart entry confirmation so if we drop down to the one minute my entry was pretty straightforward i saw a triple rejection here one two three after i see that price actually struggle to go back to this high if, if it broke through the high i wouldn't just either get stopped out or i wouldn't enter the trade but after seeing the third rejection i decided to just take the entry I took the entry and price was it was struggling at first and honestly speaking it took some time to actually start selling off because every time when i'm taking a position i do have multiple scenarios of planning the first scenario is price rejecting this area then reverse all the way up then i'll be stopped out i'm wrong second um, scenario is price comes down a little bit from a double top then reverse all the way down third scenario is price reversing here breaking under the structure forming a break and retest continuation to the downside so these are some of the scenarios that i had in planned before i took this setup but guess what we come back testing that 171.88 when it start reversing up i have to be honest i thought i was going to get stopped out on this trade because if you really look closely i was very very close to getting stopped out and that was that's spreads on pound yen as well for about one and a half pip so if let's say the candle's high is at 172.336 it's probably around 172.350 at that price so i was one pip away from getting stopped out then just reverse all the way down if you look at the one minute we actually have a, a, a double top here on the one minute see that strong sell off when i saw that strong sell off um, i was actually quite east with the setup because i love the way that we form a double top then yeah pretty much just let the entire position to run and i actually left a lot on the table but i'm happy to close out the trade for about 9.2 r which was exactly at the previous low that, that that minor structure why do i decide to close the trade there it's because it was getting late in my place in malaysia 
so it was around 10 or 11 p.m i'm happy to just scratch off the entire position for 9.2 r and i did had a plan to actually re-enter a short at 171.59 but it was a little bit too late it was about 9 p.m or 10 p.m not sure decided to just leave it so that's it for the trade recap i won't be showing you my pnl for whoever who trust whoever who don't believe that it's up to you made about 27 or 30 thousand in total and 9.2 watt trade like the video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll talk to you next time bye bye